Growing up as a kid and a teenager, I was super skinny. I mean, I was so skinny, you can literally see the rim cages in my body. And honestly, I did not like it. I was insecure about how I looked. I was not proud to see how skinny I was. And gaining weight with sickle cell disease was quite a bit of a struggle. And so in this video, I want to talk about what we can do to gain weight and ultimately increase our confidence um, because I know for a lot of us, gaining weight with sickle cell disease is not easy, especially when you're having a lot of crises. So what's up, sickle cell warriors? It's Dr. O, and the grind never stops. And I'm excited to talk to y'all about this because uh, over the years, I've been struggling to gain weight. I've struggled to gain weight, and, and it took me a while to get where I am with the weight I am and to build the muscle that I've been able to build. But it, it, it took a lot of time. And honestly, when I was in college, I was I was still skinny. I was pretty skinny, but there was a time when I was gaining so much muscle weight. And I was so proud of myself. I was going to the gym consistently. I was playing basketball consistently. And that helped me get super cut and toned up. But then all of a sudden, one day I had a crisis. And all my gains went away. Like all the work that I did towards gaining that weight just disappeared. And I was I was devastated because one, I had a crisis and y'all know how that is. But then two, I lost all the weight that I worked so hard to gain. Sickle cell words, I want to talk more about what we can do to gain weight with sickle cell disease. And I'll provide three tips that I found pretty helpful that helped me gain weight. The first and the biggest tip that I can give y'all sickle cell warriors is honestly to decrease the amount of crises we're having. And I know it's so simple, but by far the biggest thing that has attributed to my weight gain, it is the fact that I stopped having as much sickle cell crises. You know, when I was younger and I was super skinny and y'all saw how, how small I was, I was in the hospital maybe once a month or once at once or twice every couple months for a long period of time. Now I might be in the hospital like once every two to three years. And so that huge decrease in frequency probably might be the biggest reason why I've been able to gain weight. Because y'all know how it is. When you're in the crisis, it takes a lot of energy from y'all. You lose calories, you lose weight, and it's a very exhausting period. I know for me, whenever I have a crisis, I, I, I on average lose about like at least five to 10 pounds. And so, uh, you know, y'all know how much that can be. And, and just as a result of not having any crises, it can increase your weight from not losing weight. And so I'm not going to talk about what you can do to not have a crisis. That's literally what my whole channel is about. I have a bunch of videos on that. Now, my second tip is hydroxyurea. And I know y'all are always like, oh my gosh, this guy's always talking about hydroxyurea, hydroxyurea. Okay, and for this point, it's not even about decreasing your amount of crises, although it can do that for some sickle cell warriors. Another reason why I mentioned it is because it helped me gain weight. And a little known fact about hydroxyurea is that one of the side effects of it is weight gain. And so I've noticed that once I started taking that medication more, it's also just naturally increased my weight. The third tip is to work out consistently. One of the reasons why I worked out, why I work out consistently, one is, is, is just for my health. You know, I'll, you work hard, you work out after workout, I feel so much better. And two is just like, I want to, I want to feel and look better. And honestly, I was not really proud of how I looked when I was younger. So. I work out consistently so I can remind myself of how much I've grown as a man physically. Just to see my body uh, and, and the growth of it, it really makes me feel, it, it, it makes me feel accomplished and proud of myself to see how much stronger and bigger I've gotten from the little kid I was. My, those are my three tips. I would say working out, doing your best to have as less crises as possible and taking our drops in the Now, I just wanted to make this brief video on sickle cell disease because it's been a very common request and and people are always asking me, yo, I can you make a video on weight gain? And I've noticed is that Africans, like we are really big on gaining weight because I know for us, it's like, a, it's, it could be a social status. Like the more weight you have, like the more rich you could be. I know, I know that's an African thing. Like the more rich you appear, 
um, and they say some of the fatter people, um, quote unquote, might be uh, can appear richer because they have they can eat so much more food. So, I, I, I hopefully for the advocates out there, you find this video helpful. Um, just wanted to briefly share about the three biggest things that helped me to gain weight. Now it's crazy because I've been working so hard for most of my life to try to wait to to gain weight. But honestly, the last couple of months, I've actually my goal is to lose as to to lose weight, um, because I'm trying to lose fat and tone up and 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 just be more trim. And so, the past. I would say like in the past couple of weeks, I've lost like eight to seven pounds and I'm trying to get to 165 and then maybe after that, I can start gaining some more weight. So that's that Sickle Cell Warriors. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some value in it. And if you would like to have a consultation with me, please hit the uh, link in the description below and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about whatever you're going through with Sickle Cell Disease.